Hi, Philip, it's Erica. I'm not going to be able to go into work today. Someone had a last minute cancellation and I was able to get that appointment. I hope you understand. I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Thanks. Bye. Hello, I'm here to visit Austin Chandler. Okay, let's see. So, if you walk down that hall and enter the first door on your right, they'll be happy to help you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. My name is Barbara. I'm here to help you. Is this your first time coming for visiting hours? Yeah, I actually didn't know this type of thing was provided. Yeah, it's pretty great and very helpful for those who want to visit their loved ones. Please sit down. Before we start, there are some regulations that we enforce, as I'm sure you assumed. First off, your visit will last up to 10 minutes. If for whatever reason things get too heated, we'll be able to watch through these windows. First, you will enter the room, and then the person you are visiting will enter. We find the system is best for both parties. Any questions? Oh, uh, no. Thanks. All right, well then we'll call it when we're ready. All right. Hey. Oh, hello. Is this your first time? Oh, uh, yeah. You nervous? <sighs> yeah. So, when was the last time you saw him? Oh, uh, about six months ago. Wow, and you're already here? It took me about two years before I could come and visit my sister, but I've been coming to every available visiting hour since then. Do you know what you're gonna say? Kinda. Well, whatever you do, 
Don't ask why. Wait, what, why, 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 why not? You might think you want to know why he did what he did, but I'm telling you some things are better left unsaid. Say all your mushy, gushy, I love you, I miss you stuff, but leave what he did out of it. You might think you want to know, but you really don't want to know. Well, yeah. Claire? That's me. Say what you want, but remember what I told you. Erica? Erica? Austin. Austin, oh, I missed you so much. You look amazing. Did you get a haircut? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a few inches off, but you, you don't look any different. I almost expected you to look, uh, do you want to take a seat? Oh no, thanks. I like to be able to just look at you. I really, really miss you. Why did you do it? Oh, um. Oh, no, you don't have to answer. It's okay. You, I really don't need to know. We don't have to talk about it. You could just, you know, we could just talk. You could just talk about your memories of happy times that we had together. Remember the first time I told you I love you? I took you out for a picnic, and we sat underneath a tree by a lake. I kept wanting to feed the ducks. I looked at you, and I told you I love you. I'll never forget that moment. The way your eyes lit up, the light in your hair, your beautiful smile. I'm gonna miss your smile. Whose fault was that? Erica, I don't really want to. You know what? No. I want to know. Why did you do it? What was I not enough for you? Not enough for me, Erica. You're my everything. Then why did you take those pills? You want to know why? Well, I don't tell you why. I wasn't happy. Erica, don't. Don't speak. Just, just listen. You were the greatest light that shined in my world. But I was making your light fade out. I could see it. Don't try to argue. Everyone could see it. So that's why I did it. That's why I killed myself. And Eric, I'm, I'm sorry, but you really are better off without me. How dare you? Better without you? Better without you? How dare you suggest my life is better without you? Because my life is nothing without you. Hey, please don't be mad. Oh, I'm mad. Not just about what you did, but because you lied to me. You lied to me. You said forever and always. You said that you'd always be there for me and that you'd never leave me. And you left me. You lied to me. You're a liar. I love you. I gave you my heart and you just threw it away thinking that you knew best. But you lied to me. You're a liar. Why would you leave me? Look, I'm sorry. Please come back. Please Why would you me. leave me? I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. No, wait. No, no, we have more time. Please come back. Please, no, I need him. Please, I can't live without him. Please, no, give him back. Please, no, I need him. Don't take him from me again, please. Please give him back. Please, I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Mary. Hi, I'm Erica. 
This is my first time. I think it's really cool how they have these things to be here for us. Is this your first time? Uh, no, I've been here once before. Really? What was it like? Uh, nerve-wracking. <laughs> Erica, we're ready for you. Um. I guess if you want any advice, it's that some things are better left instead. Erica. I miss you so much. Between the stones and the summer breeze 